everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we are talking about double-sided mattresses versus single-sided mattresses. So let's go. I hate to admit it, but the mattress industry is full of marketing gimmicks. If you've done any mattress shop in the last 10 years, I'm sure you've seen a lot of little gimmicks that you've seen. I mean, every industry has gimmicks. The mattress industry, it seems like there's just a little bit more, which I'm embarrassed to say. But I would have to say that probably the biggest marketing gimmick that I've seen in my lifetime has been the invention of the single-sided mattress. So- You mean innovation? No, gimmick. No, it's, it's innovation. I mean, they, they said it was, you know, new technology. You're drinking the mattress Kool-Aid. You gotta be kidding me. You're saying, no. You think it's an innov innovation? Hear me out. This is, yeah, this is why it's innovative. Before, mattresses were two-sided, made it cumbersome to flip. Now, with innovation, new technology, you don't have to flip it anymore. Wow. <laughs> Another reason why is, all you gotta do is rotate it. Okay. You know, they, Put that label on there, no flip design. Now you just rotate it head to foot. You do realize with the double side mat, you could still rotate it too, head to foot as well. But so. then you also had to flip it. I'm sleeping on my side, you know, I'm softening up my bed, you know, my side for my wife. Mm -hmm. And then when we rotate it, she gets a little bit softer side. I get a little bit of firmer side, you know, she's not as heavy as I am. So doing her a favor, right? Softening up her, her, the side of the mattress for her. So if you want to have a dip on both sides, then rotate it. If you want to give your wife that nice dip, then yes, rotate the mattress and don't flip it. Another reason why is um, we get to see our customers more more often. Okay. Before it could have been- I like see my customers. I 10 like plus them. years with the double-sided. Now it's three to five years, right? Single-sided. So we get to see Mr. and Mrs. Jones a little bit more often and saying, hey, how you guys doing? You know, look at some new innovation that we got. So if you like your, to spend more money on mattresses and having to replace your mattress more often, then yeah. And you don't like to do any vacations with your family, then yeah, get a single-sided mattress. So you have to replace your mattress more often, okay. That's why single-sided is better. So if that's your case, single-sided mattresses, you have to spend more money on mattresses. They told us it was new technology. Yes, and of course, we're joking, we're being facetious. I would say that it is the biggest marketing gimmick. A little over 20 years ago, like 1999, 2000, is when we started seeing the invention of the no-flip mattresses. Because nobody liked flipping their bed. I admit that. Mm -hmm. I do admit nobody liked flipping their mattress. It can be a little bit of pain in the butt, but you do it once a year, maybe twice a year. Brilliant marketing guy. I'm not gonna name the company, but it's like, dude, let's make a mattress. You don't have to flip it anymore. The no-flip mattress. So here, show, send me one of the coils. And excuse our crude little example here. We're doing this on the fly. Yeah, you should be able to flip your mattress. You know, you have a, you have a mattress uh, padded on the top, padded on the bottom. You know, every few months you would rotate it, and then in a few months you would, you would flip it. And mm -hmm. of course, that did give you a much longer life of the mattress. But what happened was this marketing guy comes around and says, "Hey, no like flip their bed. Let's take off." one of the sides, let's keep it the same price. Customers will have to replace their mattress more often. So I was like, great idea, brilliant idea. Let's do that. So what happens is a thousand dollar mattress that, you know, we used to be double sided, stayed a thousand bucks. They took out one side and then what used to last 10 years, 12 years, now are lasting five, six, seven, maybe eight years. I'm sure if you're older than 40, you probably realize that, yeah, mattresses do not last as long as they used they to. be, yep, yep. Sure. And it's because, uh, one reason I would say, not the only reason, but one reason why, the single-sided mattress. Yeah. Imagine you're buying tires in a car, you know, and the, the, the guy who's selling you tires saying, you know what, we got this new tire out, this new mm -hmm. in, innovation on tires. You don't have to ro take your tires on your car anymore. I hate rotating my tires. Yes. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. I hate taking that time and going to a tire shop. Row. But if you spend a few hundred, several hundred bucks on tires, you want those tires to last. Oh yeah. yeah. You would want to, ro to rotate them. It makes sense. What's even more absurd is what if, Nothing even changed on the tire. They're using the same rubber. They're using the same technology. They're just saying, they're just marketing a little bit differently that you don't have to change your tire in the car anymore. Yeah. What do you think is gonna happen? Back into the shop, the tire shop, you know, more frequently. Yes, you're gonna, those, you're gonna have to buy more tires more often. And that's essentially what happened with, with mattresses is now you don't have to flip your mattress anymore. Your people are replacing the mattress a lot. Kind of like the bag of chips, man. I gotta buy more bag of chips now because it's all full of air. It used to be a full bag of chips. Now it's only a oh, quarter bag yeah. of chips. I you like would chips. notice something like that. I like the chips. You're always talking about you get ripped off on your bag of chips. I got ripped off, man. So that is why it is the biggest marketing gimmick 
in my in my opinion in the industry. Yeah, prices stayed the same, right? Yep. They didn't, it's not like they changed the prices, went down, it's like, hey, now we're saving you, you know, 40% more, 30% more, yep. right? No, prices stayed the same. Now you're back in the market a lot quicker. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, that's why single-sided is not a, uh, the way to go. Is that for all mattresses though? I would say there is exception to the rules. Yeah. I don't want to sound like a hypocrite because yeah, we do have mattresses that are single-sided, mm -hmm. but here's the big difference. Now, if you're going with a mattress with made with polyurethane foam, like memory foam, foam, regular foam or memory foam, memory yeah. foam, polyurethane, yeah, it's going to break down a lot quicker. Like we use latex in the majority of our mattresses. We make those single-sided. So, mm -hmm. oh man, Pablo, you guys are hypocrites. What are you talking about? You guys sell single-sided mattresses. Here's why. Latex is gonna last you at least two to four times longer than foam. Now, here's the thing with latex too. It's a lot very, it's very durable, but it's also a lot more expensive. Mm -hmm. So with the durability, it does not justify the cost increase on making a some double-sided mattress as much as it would justify it with a double-sided foam mattress. Mm -hmm. So we say you should give your, your mattress should last you at least 10 years. You should love your mattress for at least 10 years. With latex, we give them a 25 year warranty because they're so durable. But another thing that we do with our latex mattresses is we make them modular where you can actually open up the mattress. And I, I don't want to sound like a commercial. Hope I'm not sounding like a commercial. You can uh, unzip the mattress. And what I've found a lot of customers do is flip that latex layer on the inside. So I do with mine. Yeah. Which does give it a reset. And it does help distribute any wear and tear more evenly. Also, if the event, like let's say this, something did happen with the latex where it did start to break down prematurely, you don't have to replace the entire mattress. We just open up the mattress and replace the latex layer. It's a lot more cost effective to do that way. And it doesn't, it's a lot more easier to do that way. But we do have customers that do want the double-sided flippable mm -hmm. latex. So we still make those double-sided flippable latex as well for those who want to be able to flip their latex mattress. Yeah, I mean, you'll get still get more life out of a double-sided latex, yes. right? Oh yeah. Price is gonna go up. But, but does it justify it? Are you, you know, are you gonna get at least the 10 to 15 years on a latex mattress being single-sided? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Of course, as things change, right? You do, like we said, you said that modular design, you can open it up and swap out the cover. Yes. Or swap out the, the latex layer. But anytime, right? We say anytime foam or memory foam, make sure it's flippable so you can get that, extend the life of that mattress. I had a customer three years ago and she went to one, you know, big mattress company over here. She was looking for a mattress that you could flip. Mm -hmm. before she even heard about us. You know, and guys like, ah, they don't make those type of mattresses anymore. And then uh, she was just doing some research for double-sided mattresses. She found us. She actually cried that she found us because she was like, wanted that old school type of mattress. Wow. So three years ago, that's the only reason why I remember is I mean, I haven't had a customer like that since then that yeah. like really- We got to get her on a commercial. Brought her emotional, yeah. but yeah, it was, uh, I was like, man, that's really meant something for her to have like a really good quality mattress. So anyways, yeah, anytime you're looking for a mattress that's more traditional, Make sure it's flippable. Yeah, so I hope this helped you guys. I'm sure so there's a lot of people gonna disagree with this. Put it in the comments. If you have any mattress questions, put them in the comments. If you disagree, put it in the comments. I'm really curious to know your thoughts. And yeah, if you guys are on your mattress shopping journey, we put together a guide that um, breaks down mistakes not to make when mattress shopping or, or tips on mattress shopping. If you're in a, in a town where they have a mattress, little small mattress factory there, or mom and pop where they can actually have more, they're closer to the factory, visit them. I know they're hard to find double-sided mattresses, but those are the places probably you have the best shot of finding a double-sided mattress. Yeah. So. If you guys like this, please subscribe to our channel, right? Yes, Hit the like please. button. Like you said, make some comments, you know, we'll get, uh, we'll do our best to get, you know, to get back to each comment. Download our mattress shopping guide. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys. <clears throat> you ready? Do I sound like my voice is going out or what? We are going to talk about what double-sided mattresses. Oh, why?